so excited. My baby chicks are supposed to arrive any day now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my brooder set up. I went ahead and purchased a full kit. Super easy, gives you everything you need from my pet chicken. I have these panels, four to 10 is what you need to start. It comes with 10 panels so you can adjust and size it larger as needed for your brooder. They send you chick starter grower, the small pet bedding, the pine, and the waters and everything you need. So I'm getting this set up temporarily in my workshop that's currently still a work in progress, but it's safe in here from predators. It's draft free, just a nice little area away from the house where we have cats and dogs and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then wait for the call from the post office that they are here. all ready to go. I've got their feed, their water, their bedding. I've got a heat lamp, although I don't know if I'll need it. It's pretty hot out and it's even warmer inside here because it's a warehouse situation, not insulated yet. Although chicks do need about 95 degrees in their first week of life. So I may need that heater. I have it set up. You just kind of watch their behavior. If they huddle, huddle under it, you lower it. If they are kind of going to the sides away from it, you can turn it off or make it higher. But I do have a thermometer to gauge the temperature in the brooder and it'll be about 95 degrees that they need for the first week. And then as a general rule, I think you can reduce the temperature about five degrees every week that they mature. So I will keep a close eye. All I need now is for the baby chicks to arrive. I think they're going to be here tomorrow. They actually shipped yesterday. The USPS has been shipping baby chicks since 1918. They've been doing this for quite some time. So I'm really excited. The post office will give me a call as soon as they arrive. I'll run over there and pick them up. Guess where I am? They arrived. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get home and put them in the brooder. Not too long after I got the brooder set up, I got a call from the post office. The baby chicks actually arrived a day early. I'm super excited. I'm getting ready to unpack them right now. I'm excited to peek in here. So I got my baby chicks from my pet chicken. And in this batch, I have seven baby chicks, hopefully arrived all safe and sound. They do warn you, it's rare, but every once in a while, one doesn't make it. So they do advise not unpacking this with children around just in case. So my kids are inside, eagerly awaiting for me to tell them they can come take a look. Oh my gosh. And all safe and sound. I got a variety of types. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hi. I got a variety of types. I have to go back and look at my order, but I'm pretty sure they're all green and blue egg layers, which means they are the types of birds that lay green eggs and blue eggs. Now, every once in a while, you have a bird who doesn't throw that color and that's fine, but I'm really excited to have green and blue egg layers. And so they should be ready to start laying eggs, I think in about six months. And then whatever color a chicken starts laying, whatever color egg, that's the color they're gonna lay their whole life. So you'll be able to tell what color they are. Let's get you in your hole. <laughs> Actually, one thing I want to make sure to do is check that they didn't paste up. It's a common and very dangerous condition around their bum. If they get poo stuck, I'm sorry buddy, let me just take a look. Yours is fine. If they get poo stuck and clumped, they actually can't go to the bathroom and they get backed up and they can die from it. So one thing with baby chicks you want to make sure to do is just check their vent hole, make sure everything's clear and good. You look good, buddy. And you need to make sure that they start 
eating and drinking water. Really, it's more important to make sure they start drinking water right away. And generally, if you don't see them drink, you can dip their beaks in. Oh, he look a little pasted up. So I'm gonna get a little warm washcloth and just, he doesn't look fully blocked, but you know, let me take a look, let me take a look. You look clean. is the only one that looks like it might be a little bit pasted up you can kind of see there so let me just get wet washcloth and some q-tips and gently see if I can remove that in the meantime so six of them are in the big brooder here one of them I just have to clean up. First, let me clean this one up first. And then, he is scared, he's a little bit scared. So I just have a wet paper towel that I'm gently, yes, he is very fluffy. I just have a wet paper towel that I'm gently, gently, gently. I know, buddy. I know, I just gotta get this very gently all right we're gonna let this one rest but I'll get one out which one do you want to pick this one all right come here he's so cute she they're all girls do you want to try petting another one yeah I'm gonna try one of the um yellow ones <laughs> Her face or no? She's coming here. Hey, baby sweet. Oh, don't squeeze. Don't George it. Just gently pet. Don't be yucky. No, I know that's not all. What about that? Is he sleeping? She, yeah. Everybody made it safe and sound. We had one that was not completely pasted up, but had a little bit of poo kind of blocking her vent. So I got her cleaned up very gently and we'll just keep an eye. But I have seven different chicks here and they are actually seven different types of chickens. They are all blue and olive green egg layers. So we'll see what they produce. A few of them have a small chance, like a one in 16 chance or a 5% chance in another breed where they typically lay blue eggs, like light blue to light turquoise, but every once in a while they throw either white or cream or light brown eggs. So I'll be happy with whatever I get, but I'm super excited to see these baby chicks develop. So for the seven different types of chicks that I got, I have a super blue, a snowy Easter egger, a cuckoo blue, a silked white Easter egger, a blue favicana, and an olive egger. And so they will throw a range of colors from light blue, light turquoise, to maybe even some deeper blues and then some olives. And then if they're one of the few rare ones that don't throw their traditional colors, then I might get some cream or light brown eggs as well. So I'm really excited. It will be a long while before these little chicks will be laying eggs. It takes a while for them to develop. They'll actually be in their brooder for three to four weeks. At two weeks, I can start putting them monitored in an outdoor chicken run protected from they're predators so you don't let them loose but you can just kind of watch them within a sheltered protected area so they can enjoy the grass and sun but for now they're here they're safe they're healthy i'm gonna get a camera set up so i can watch them 24 7 and just keep a close eye on these first few days as they get settled into their new home